Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. So, dear Dhamma friends, and during Buddha's time, there was a fishing village, and in that fishing village, so there was a little family. And in that family, there was a little boy born to this family. And the very first day the, uh, the boy came to this family, the boy born, the entire fishing village went out of the fish. And the no rain, and they had a very hard time, and the whole village and suffered from difficulties. And right away they knew something happened to their village. It's kind of like a curse. And uh, as you know, when the, the good things happen, it come as a sign. And same thing with the bad, bad also. Sometimes when the bad things happen, that also come as a sign. So it's so, with the signs. And uh, this, uh, as a, as example, when the, the Prince Siddhartha born, and at that day, the, the, it was so beautiful, entire nature. And as you know, when the Jesus born, in that very day, that at night, there were stars in the sky in different ways. So like that, hmm? they understood, they knew something happened. It's kind of like a curse that everything went wrong and that everything became dark. So then they couldn't find out the reason and they, the whole village became poor, poor, poor. So then what happened? They want to find out what, who is the, the curse the carry the curse to this village. And then they divide to groups. And then somehow they found out, the entire village found out, this little boy, the newly born baby, carry the curse. So then what they did, they sent them out of the city. And the mother, the carried the boy, and somehow the mother thought without, and the most of toll, to kill the boy because it is a curse for everyone. But mother didn't give up. And the mother kept the boy and thought somehow I going to raise this child. And somehow once the child able to walk himself, I let him go wherever he want to go. So somehow with the very difficulties going and begging place to place, mother used to take care of this child. So somehow the child became little by little stronger and to walk himself. And then the mother gave a little plate and told my dear son, anymore I cannot do anything. Now it, this life is up to you. Just go and do whatever you want and survive yourself. So what this boy did and took this little plate and went to place to place, city to city. And wherever he go, even around him, the people felt difficulties. And some people was carried the money inside their pocket, but they, and they had the idea to give the, some money. But when this law sucker, his name, this boy name called law sucker, when the law sucker came close to them and they was trying to get the money out of their pocket and the money disappeared. So like that, even when he tried to beg and find something, it was very difficult for him. Somehow one day, he, the venerable Sariputta went for Pindapatha and saw this child with this all the miseries and told, are you like to become a monk? And the, the Losak was so happy. Oh, venerable sir, please, please. And then 
Venerable Sariputta brought him to the temple and then he became a monk. But still he go to Pindapatha and to collect food. No one give food. Even people try to give food and when they come with the, to the offer the food and they see in his uh, begging bowl the, with the food, a lot of food. So then they think, oh, why I have to put more? And they turn back. But there was nothing. And people used to see there are a lot of food. And even sometimes uh, the venerable Sariputta used to, to go with him. And th th that days, no one come forward and offer dana. In being with that venerable law sucker and the other monks also used to lose food. So that much he had the, the kind of like a karma to suffer. So somehow it was a day and the venerable Sariputta knew this law sucker was so hungry and uh, he had because he didn't get food for a few days and somehow he went to the the king palace and that day the king gave uh, the the food with the honey ghee and butter so like that with the good food so the venerable sariputta uh, took that and thought i going to somehow feed this to venerable losaka so then he went to the temple and then he called the venerable losaka and told don't touch my bowl just stand on me and then he tied the, the his the half of the rope to venerable losaka and then from himself he feed the venerable losaka so that moment he ate and that is the only day he felt comfortable and cure the hunger. But at the same time, in that very moment, he attained to the enlightenment. And in by the evening, he passed away. So then the evening, then the Buddha came and then the monks gathered. And the, see, this monk had the, the wisdom to attain to enlightenment, but still he went through a lot of suffering and he couldn't get anything. It kind of like a carrying a curse himself in this samsaric journey and effect for everyone around him. So then the Buddha told, long, long time ago, there was a, another Buddha called Kashapa. So during that Buddha's time, this when this law sucker was a monk and he was he having a temple in a village and then he used to be with the the people and people used to offer things and he was he's the only monk high priest and then he was uh, he was having a very comfortable life then another enlightened master monk around the monk visited the the temple and people used to come and offer dana and offer many uh, items. And then when the venerable Losaka this saw this, and then he thought, oh, this is not good. And no one now think about me. Maybe if this happened, I'm going to lose my temple also. So then one day, what happened? There was a person invited for these both monks for the dana. And so that day, early morning, this the this Lozaka wake up early in the morning without calling to that monk loudly. And that enlightened monk was sleeping. And the, he whispered himself. And then himself he can come out of the doubt that telling that oh i call him but he didn't wake up so he whispered himself wake up it is ready to go to the honor so like that very slow sound 
that enlightened master was sleeping and then he went to visit this the devotee's house and that day this devotee with the good food same kind of with food with the ghee honey butter so mixing these things and he made a very uh, tasty healthy food and offer to this monk and he had that and then he was so happy and then that uh, devotee gave half of the portion and told please offer this to that enlightened monk and before he asked what happened why he didn't come and then the this lord monk told oh i call him but he was sleeping and then then he get out of the bond and he he's not telling lies see that uh, how how his mind worked because he he whispered slowly and called that enlightened master and now he can tell he called but he didn't wake up so the same way he told oh, i called him but he didn't wake up so i came myself otherwise i get late so somehow the devotee gave half the, the the portion of the food and told please give this to that monk and then when the this monk the venerable that the lord took and took this and came on the way and on the way he was thinking if i give this this monk may be get attached to this food and this village and then i going to lose my temple and i going to lose all my facilities and people come and bow and worship me and then then maybe they not going to respect anymore so what he did on the way he saw fireplace and he put that food to the fire and that person gave that food to offer this to the enlightened monk but this monk put it to the fire and thinking about he may get attached to this soul that is the demerits the karma that he accumulated as a result of that action and during the this gautama the buddha's time he born as a boy in that very day the very first day he born the entire village suffered and from that moment by moment and in the beginning i mentioned that what happened so the, but somehow he developed the wisdom and he he able to attain to the the enlightenment but to still look how the the curse that the the demerits came with him so then remember yourself it doesn't matter even ourselves we are monks that doesn't mean we are we going to be okay it is very important it not what we say or it not what our life we it not what we look like always remember yourself honestly deeply yourself develop the integrity with the generosity that is very important for the entire sansaric journey until you attain to the nibbana that it it going to be with you otherwise otherwise if you become greedy and if you attach too much and that can take you to different situations and you will create many other demerits many other bad karma related with that deep attack attachment so then you have to be very careful when things come to you and how you going to deal with it just knowingly things just saying things or just uh, having things doesn't mean this everything going to be okay one time the this uh, abraham lincoln was asked from his secretary if you call the horse tail as a leg so then how leg how many legs going to be for that horse then the secretary told five legs then the abraham lincoln told no it is still four legs then the secretary asked why just calling for the tail as leg doesn't mean it going to become a leg 
So same like remember, just saying generosity or saying practicing meditation or saying we are good, saying we are compassion doesn't mean we are compassion. Doesn't mean we are generous. Doesn't mean we are wise. The way we practice going to transform our life. So then remember this venerable Losaka life story. So what happened to him? And then yourself, when you become generous, and the same way, like if you reverse the pattern, when you become generous, you feel safe and comfortable, not only you, your parents, your brothers, sisters, your village, and your entire people around you going to get the benefit out of your good karma. And at the same time, be careful. When you do something wrong, it is just not only you. And it's going to affect for your, all the people around you, especially innocent, your, your parents. Look that mother, Losaka's mother, how hard she had the life. The same like if you do something bad or if you do something wrong, the most enormous pain going to go to your parents. And even in the sansaric journey, so wherever you go and born in the mother's womb, and that mother going to have a very great difficulties. But if you become good person, it is just not only for you. And wherever you go, even just getting to the birth or the, even when you are getting to the mother's womb, that mother going to feel more comfortable, relaxed. And your father and your relatives and everyone going to feel more comfortable, relaxed, and you going to bring the, the, the luck to everyone. So don't be late to do the good action yourself. It is just not only for you. Remember, that is the best that you can do to others also. Whenever you have opportunity to perform something good, and whenever you have opportunity to do something good, don't be late. And as we know, look, that we experience few months and we tell people don't bring the dana and we're not going and visiting any place and people never had opportunity to give dana or practice generosity. And as you know, our devotees and everywhere, we used to have many ceremonies in the temples, but now we cannot perform that things. But look, that, in, that opportunity is disappeared. And who knows what will happen tomorrow? And who knows you and me going to be here or not? But whenever you have opportunity, and always with your husband, wife, children, friends, and family members, with your church or the mosque or the temple or with the monks or the priest or anyone. So anywhere, always remember, do your best and with the good heart, with the clear heart, with the compassion, loving kindness, generosity, perform your best, be your best. And that will become the light and you become the guardian angels for yourself and for others, everyone. So with that, I bless upon everyone with this good practice. May all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patient, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibban. Sabbiti o vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu ma te bhavatantara yo suki diga yuko bhava. Ettavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva no more than to sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta no more than to sabba sampati siddhya. Sabbe satta no more than to sabba sampati siddhya idam me punya kamanga savakaya vahano tu sabba dukkha pamunchatu. Bless you.